Now, all three bikes on tonight's show have twin cylinder engines. So what does that mean and why does it make them ideal commuters? Well, this is a crankshaft assembly from a 125 Honda, which is a single cylinder engine. And as you can see, there's one piston there. Now, the way that this works inside the engine is if I push the piston up and down, I can make the crankshaft spin around. And that's basically how the engine works. A series of explosions above the piston, which makes it spin. Now that makes for a very light, small and compact engine unit, which is ideal for small bikes. But once you start to increase the capacity and put bigger pistons in it, this kind of engine layout can start to feel quite rough. Now this engine from a 250 Honda has two cylinders and two pistons, which you can see here. The advantage of a twin cylinder engine is it runs much more evenly and the bike can feel a lot smoother to ride. It's still a nice, small, compact engine unit. It hasn't grown too much, so it can make an ideal middleweight commuter. Now for the ultimate in performance you may end up with a four cylinder engine rather like this one from an old Suzuki GS1000. More modern sports bikes like R1s and Fireblades will have a more compact version of basically this engine layout and as you can see this is quite a big lump. Now that's one reason why a twin cylinder engine may be more ideal for a daily commuter.